Our first robot today in robot ratings is from 36830, and it is this kind of snail bot, kind of a change up bot design. Also, hopefully, everyone's already, you know, uh, on summer break. If you're not, then that kind of sucks if you're still in school, but I am. So, we'll be posting more of these videos, and you, know, you guys are going to walk in and build some really cool robots this summer, I bet. Uh, first off, they have these flexels in their drive kind of weird but i guess it's for the it's for the park and you know i kind of like, want to see how these perform differently than let's say a, a conventional eight wheel drive they have uh an very strange intake this makes me <laughs> think of like spin up and uh high stakes intake where it's a very it's a vertical intake so that's very very strange but Maybe it's good. I think, I mean, it allows for a very far uh, width of of intaking, very, very big range. So maybe that's good. But, you know, people might ask, how are they going to take the, the balls out of the, the match load pipes? Well, they have this match load grabber here that just comes in and helps them grab the, the balls out. So that's nice. And they have a, kind of a, a standoff. Just gonna straight back, which is mad at standoffs. I I think they're probably gonna put mesh over this though. I I hopefully they put mesh over this, right? They're using actually a, a solid bit of poly on this robot. I can see, but it looks really nice. Um, all right, I think it comes around. I think I'm gonna give this one a uh an S tier. Yeah, next one. <laughs> Updated CAD from Team Ten. This is another change up style bot. Once again, we have the... This is the same one. We've said this one already. The pistons everything. I'm not going to rate this one. Alright. This is also from... Also from the speed cat, I'm pretty sure. Uh, goes around, and it takes a whole loop. loop de loop and gets around. And then goes on the very back. That's interesting. It definitely allows for a lot of storage. Like, scoring capacity ready. But... It just looks a little overcomplicated and really heavy. I don't know. I don't... I don't really like this one. I feel like you can do where it just comes up and then goes straight. And that'd be a lot nicer. Or you could even just do like a a one of those hero bot type bot builds. I don't like I don't know. I'm gonna give this one a B tier. This one just looks over complicated. Also, I'm on light mode. Yeah. Heavy work in progress. Copy Tom Mac from Little Will. Might do mesh intake instead of that poly. Also also do mesh for the ramp itself second ever cat mm -hmm. looks nice i guess people are actually like i don't know i don't think you even need to do the like your over the top intake is way too way too thin like you're doing like the horizontal intake it's way too thin uh this sorry this is way too thin and you need to make it wider and preferably further forward so then you can really take advantage of it. Because right now you're not taking advantage of it. You need to put it here and make it wide. And then you can move your tongue back further out. But yeah, I'm going to give this one a B tier as well. Work in progress. First prototype bot so far of pushback. Inspiration from Little Will. Yeah, this is nice. I like how... I like this, honestly. I like the... I feel like this will be a really good uh, starter, de starter design. Where it's pistonized. This comes up and down. The whole thing. Oh, sorry. This whole this whole thing comes up and down, right? Let me low key just zoom out a little bit, and then we can just do this. Yeah, this whole uh, five wide goes up and down, and super easy design. And then you just put a put an intake on the side on the front. I want to know what these are for though. What what are these? I don't know what these pieces are. They don't look to be like just vex pieces. Maybe they are. Maybe they're from like brain cover or something. Not brain cover, like the brain. I don't know. Please let us know what these pieces are. They're kind of cool. First, full CAD probably makes second one. Okay, cool. Another front to back design. Very simple design. Once again, just comes in the front and then pistonized to the back, like we said. Just like another Kirobot ish design. I'm going to give this one a B tier as well. Okay. Robot is pretty peak so far. We're going to hold about nine balls. Also dump the entire match station pretty quick. Oh, nice. It's a very, 
Very nice early season design. People are, wow, that's actually so quick. We're like not even in June yet and you have people finishing up whole robots. That looks, you know, decently competitive already. Wow. You can see the the track it takes is comes through the front here and then it goes through here and then it just ups goes through up here. Wait, hey, these latex bands for where for how uh for the what is it the guide for the balls so it just kind of comes back around and then comes back to the top i'm gonna get on a beats here i think it'd be made cleaner but you know very nice start day two of new robot wow this is clean very nice matte paint on this and black wheels as well i like this a lot i'm gonna give this one eight here good start good start is this good rotation sensor friction <laughs> no, it is not good. That is, that is not good. Bye bye, robot. Also, new wedge tech. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's wedge tech. <laughs> that's not wedge tech. They're using pistons. That's not wedge tech. You're going to just get those broken so easily. This is an F tier. F tier tech. Okay. Let's go down. Let's find some more stuff. Pushback drive with very good cod. Cog. Sorry. Cog. Cod. <laughs> Second year doing V5. Oh, nice. You're able to drive in very easily. Very good park. Easy park. But that means you can't really have another teammate get on that too, so that's kind of a problem. Redirect snail coming soon. Nice. Okay. Okay. That's cool. That's that's nice. What would you recommend I change? Oh, I, I need to read this one. I'm going to give it a B tier. What would you recommend on this, on strive trains? Is it very bad, or is it good or a very bad drive train? I use blue motors. Um, okay. Another gear transmission. Well, that's weird. That's a weird way to put it. Another another gear transmission. Uh, is it being powered down? It should be being pow pow powered down, right? It's driving. Oh. Oh, they're they're. This is a this is stupid fast. I think. Because what are they using? They're using blue motors. So then they're powering, they're powering 48s running 36s. And on a 4 inch, yeah, it should be opposite. It should be 36 powering 48 on 3.25 or maybe like even 2.75. That's way too fast. This is a pretty, pretty, pretty low torque drivetrain. I would definitely advise against that. I'm going to give this one a C tier. Okay. Uh, meta trust. <laughs> battery. <laughs> Using the battery. That's crazy. Feedback on drivetrain. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, like we said, this is the one I suggested. 453.25. Very nice. I'm going to give it an A tier. Good start. Before and after worlds. Okay. Where is there any more pushback designs? Oh, there's one more. Need suggestions, please. It looks clean. It lo just looks like another standard kind of bot honestly i suggest you putting the the uh intake stuff on the top right like what usually i think usually people would usually, usually people would put it on the top and you just have mesh on the bottom but yeah i think it's nice beats here very standard kind of hero bot type design and oh one more this is the very last one first robot this season used a bucket mech to store three to four balls let's see nice okay so that's the bucket mech comes to the front and then it goes here and you can store it and then i'm guessing you can unload it by making it come down and it scores very very cleanly not all, what's it yeah i like it how it's how it's just at the right height so it doesn't give it too much momentum or too much speed so it just stays right there that's nice and then when, of course you have the the little wheel tongue mech nice okay that's cool all right, and that's all we have for today. Thank you.